from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Purge out the old leaven, that you may be a new dough, as you really are without leaven. For Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us keep festival, not with old leaven, not with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Sequence. O Christians, to the Paschal victim bring of praise the sacrificial offering. For the sheep, the lamb, his blood did shed, the sinless Christ in sinner's stead. With God the guilty reconciling, the life with death did fiercely strive, through dying the leader now reigns alive. O Mary, where did your wondering eyes adore? I saw the tomb of one who dies no more. The glorious risen Lord was shown to me, the napkin, linen cloths, their lying. I heard the angels testifying. Yes, Christ is risen, and you shall see your hope and mine in Galilee. We know that Christ rose from the grave, O conquering King, a sinner saved. Amen. Alleluia. Please stand. Continuation of the Gospel according to Mark. That time, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Solomon, brought spices that they might go and anoint Jesus. And very early on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb where the sun had just risen. And they were saying to one another, Who will roll the stone back from the entrance of the tomb for us? <clears throat> and looking up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back, for it was very large. But in entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting at the right side, clothed in a white robe, and they were amazed. He said to them, Do not be terrified. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples, and Peter, that he goes before you into Galilee. There you shall see him, as he told you. Please be seated. 